Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaev making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's gonna be a UFC champion and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster. You know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shimaev is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you lay eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling, he has great striking, he has great cardio, the guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds, but this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Kamzat Shumayev, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. All right, so the path to UFC middleweight gold and glory continues to go through this man. And without speaking hyperbolically, I do believe this man looks like he could reign for some time. You know, when you think about middleweight, you think about some great champions, Anderson Silva and Israel Adesanya. This man can be viewed in the same regard because he has ruled the top of the division for a really long time. He's ruled it with an iron fist. He is just so good in this role. He is everything you want in the UFC champion. Well, he's fighting in his natural weight class. A lot of people wondered aloud if maybe he could become a two-division champion, go down to 70. He don't want to hear that noise. He's looking to pluck off another middleweight title challenger in yet another big spot here tonight. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Gears, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bosch Chibayev. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Thompson. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go. He won his last fight by TKO. And a lot of pressure on him to do the same here tonight. This is one of the more powerful champions this division has seen in recent memory. And given the way the last fight went, the expectations have been elevated as to just how far this guy can take it. We'll see if he can defend the belt successfully here tonight. All right, nice shot by the wrestler, sticking to the game plan here early. DC goes to the clinch. He said he didn't want to be shooting takedowns from way outside. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, my goodness. Fast pace here in the early going. Shumayev's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Back to the feet now. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Kamzat 
Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He was able to block that shot. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking. Whoa! Continuing to attack the head as that diving punch. Right back. Oh, right big, back. big shots here. She might have cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is poor as blood. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. Starting to get it in there deep. He showed that and proved it. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Oh, good vision defensively. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Thompson. Unable to land with that punch. Oh. Adjustment protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh man, that left. Oh. Now he's backed up. What an absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money, bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sports. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Topside.